Hey everyone, welcome back to another Brewmon's Digi Glitch here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back today showing you the one of the cancer decks of the, of the game because, I mean, we have to go over it at some point in time. Right. Um, but it is really good and is actually really strong and it's still taking down a thing and they're still going to print cards to hate on it. But it's Rookie Rush. Yeah. Um, but before we get into it, guys, we'll just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. Go check it out. At our Patreon, you'll see all of our stuff early. You'll get it, like, super early. You'll get extra, like, uh, polls and stuff to for, for just all kinds of different stuff. Um, with that, guys, let's delve into Rush Hour. So, we're going to start off with the eggs. First up is Upamon, the blue egg uh, from a set one. When it attacks on Inherited, once per turn, you draw a card. So Pretty good. Yeah. Just, you like to draw cards. Everyone likes to draw yeah. cards. In a deck where you're just playing little dudes, you get to draw free cards. Yep. And the other uh, little egg we have is Demi Vimon. And the inheritance is when attacking once per turn, if this did you want to have jamming uh, trigger, draw one. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey. Yeah, nice. That seems good. Free card draw. Right. Uh, first rookie we got is a Lekmon. He's a two drop 3,000. That's all he is. That's zero, right. I mean, zero cost Digivolve. Literally, that's what most of this will be because yeah. that's what your little rookie guy is. The next one is Gabumon. It's also... A level three cost three, uh, version zero, and uh, on the play trigger, draw one. So there you go. Next is our boy Vimon. He is a three drop for 2000 power with zero Digivolve, and he has jamming. So if he's on Demi Vimon, you get a draw card. Which is going to be awesome. Uh, the next one is our level four X, X Vimon. Cost five, uh, Digivolves for two. And when Digivolving, un unsuspend one of your four level four or lower Digimon so you can swing in again and just crush into that security yeah next up is gomamon he is a two drop zero digivolve for 3000 dp and that's just he's just a rookie yep. just a good rookie uh, another the next <clears throat> one is uh mushroomon uh cost two digivolves for one and level three that's it uh next up is aruramon two drop 5000 power that's basic that, what you're doing yeah i was literally doing it the other one uh Terramon cost three, two power, zero Digivolve, done. And all turns, your opponents can't gain memory except with uh, Tamer effects, which is awesome. Yeah. Next up is Gorillamon. He is a champion. He is a six drop for Digivolves for one, and he is a 6,000. So helps you get some extra card draw and gives you a bigger dude. At least. The next one is Grizzlymon. He is the only blocker that we have, or maybe, I don't know, I'm just saying it. So <laughs> a level four cost five uh, Digivolves for two. So simple as that. Uh, next is Vegemon. He is a four drop 6,000 for Digivolve of one. Done. And of course, we have to have it Puppetmon because why not? He's super powerful. So he he comes down for 11, Digivolves for three. He's 10 power, but on play, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon during your opponent's next phase. It doesn't untap. And then when attacking, gain one memory. So it just helps you put out more little dudes. Uh, and then for the first spell we have is Hammer Spark. It is zero cost and you gain one memory and its security is gained two memory. So it helps you just get the memory so you can play your rookies easier and or get them where you need them to stay at one. Oh yeah. The next one is a po Positron laser. So it costs six and the spell is main. Up to two of your opponent's Digimon can attack or block until end of your opponent's next turn. Then if you have a blue Digimon in play, return one of the opponent's suspended Digimon to its owner's hand. Oof, trash all of its Digi evolutions. And does it do the same thing? It looks like it does the exact same thing on security. So that's very powerful, actually, especially late game when you know you just need to yeah. win. This deck's super straightforward. You're playing little dudes. You're going to get there as fast as possible. That's the whole purpose of Rookie Rush. Oh, yeah. If you get there quickly, they can't answer you because your Vmon's going to kill all their dudes in security that are big because it has jamming and it doesn't matter. Yeah. And then your other X Vmon untaps your extra dudes. So you can just get just free. Free value, and just all rookie rushes. And just tap it. That's all you do. Yeah. Overall, the deck's super simple. We're going to see what it does in the game. See y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.